Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on murder at Yellowstone. A Western. You know I love that. A lot of classic actors are in this. So I think it's going to be good. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 8. Available on audiobook. Book 1. Check out Amazon. Now, this is Thomas Jane who plays the preacher. Uh, he's the main character. Gabriel Byrne is the sheriff doing an American accent, I think. Richard Dreyfus is in the mix, too. Um, and it's all a classic sort of tale of uh, murder in a western town. Uh, a guy framed for the murder. And Gabriel Byrne being determined to hang him. Uh, the guy he frames is black, so I'm not sure if there's a racial component in that or not. But maybe doesn't really say um but then two sides are created in this town uh one supporting the preacher who knows the man's innocent i think and richard dreyfus uh, on that side and then gabriel byrne and his son and his cronies on the other so there's richard dreyfus so there's a lot going on here some gunfights um so let's uh say gabriel byrne thomas jane Isaiah Mustafa and Anna Camp with Nate Wolf and Richard Dreyfus. So Richard Dreyfus not being it in it all that much. Directed by Richard Gray. Do we have a writer written by Eric Belgal? And uh, got some producers here. Executive producers. Oh, let's count them. One, two, three, including Richard Dreyfus is number three. Four. Thomas Jane is five, six. I think that's six. Thomas Jane, Courtney, Lauren Penn. Wait, I gotta start over. Joan, you're messing me up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven executive producers. Yeah, they don't hand that EP uh, credit out to just anyone. I can understand why Thomas Jane and R Richard Dreyfus get it. Big actors often they give it to them. Give them some more money or give them some more cloud or whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, six regular producers. The actual producers, I would say. Murder at Yellowstone City. So, uh, I mean, you know, these movies are often very derivative. There's one, looks like one Native American in this. Not sure who gets killed here. I don't know. And then uh, this is Thomas Jane showing the school marm, I guess, how to shoot. Right, come over here, John, you big mouth. I'm trying to do this thing. You're totally disrupting me. Yeah, you're totally disrupting me. Um, so, you know, he's a preacher. So did, did he, was he first a gunfighter and then he came to God? Because he's handling guns left and right in this. I think one of the problems in Western movies sometimes in terms of the sets and whatnot, they look old. They kind of look like older than they should, right? They kind of look older than they should. And uh, they always got a very sort of, you, you can see the ground here. It's always like a very set-like ground, you know. They made it nice and relatively nice and flat, and they put in, put in some bushes and stuff to kind of give it the feel. But, it, you know, there's something odd about that. Like, if people were actually living there, how you wonder how it would it really looked. You know, was it just all like mud puddles? It's just like a friggin' mess, is what I picture. Although it's in the desert, so maybe not mud puddles, but like there's just tracks everywhere and horse poop. And here it it, it looks kind of clean, but I don't know. I'm nitpicking. I am nitpicking. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some gunfights going on. I, I mean, I kind of like westerns. This is, this is a weird moment here. It looks like the preacher's banging this girl. And then you know, they get interrupted. Uh, it appears to be kind of a humorous moment. Uh, it seems to be a pretty serious movie. Gabriel Byrne is playing it pretty serious. I think he's doing an American accent. I mean, I like westerns. What can I tell you? I like westerns because they got everything. They got action. They got drama. Um, 
there's history in it and uh, you know you, you kind of know the rules you know I, I there's always something there like you're never gonna be bored in the Western there's always gonna be a gunfight at some point 90% of the time and you kind of it's kind of like a feeling you get about the time period I guess it's like things are growing in the United States they're just expanding right and uh, these people are, are at the frontier and anything can happen like anything they can just kill you and leave you in a ditch you know so like anything can happen in the Wild West so I guess that's why I kind of like it uh, this movie I guess the first act not quite sure I think a guy is framed for murder this guy who's got he's got his gun in a weird position uh, I think he's framed for murder by the sheriff maybe not sure but I guess he's innocent or Thomas James believes he's innocent at least and then maybe they bust him out of prison uh, and uh, Gabriel Byrne doesn't like that, and it, it turns into a showdown. So first act, I would say, the guy gets framed for murder. And Thomas Jane is like, no, no, he's innocent. So, like, that's most of the first act. The wind-up to the fake murder. Maybe you see who did it for real, or maybe you don't. And then the second act is... You know, are they going to, this is the dude. Are they going to kill this dude or what? Maybe they kill a witness or, or drive a witness out of town. Maybe it's that Indian lady. I don't know. Um, but Thomas Jane is, is a thorn in Gabriel Byrne's side. And they, they get into a confrontation where Gabriel Byrne just basically says, I'm going to hang this dude. There's nothing you can do about it. Thomas Jane, I, they don't show it, but I, I'm thinking Thomas Jane bust them out bust them out of prison um, and then the third act is uh, the showdown between Thomas Jane and this crooked sheriff played by Gabriel Byrne and Richard Dreyfus, I suspect gets killed halfway through <laughs> and doesn't make it Isaiah Mustafa I imagine is like on board for the most of the movie until the gunfight at the end so, murder at Yellowstone City. Now, does the murder refer to the guy that they frame, who they hang? Or does it refer to the murder that they frame him for, is the question. I think the latter is probably true. And then, the ending? Mm, I don't know, a lot of times, uh, you know, the whole character arc is one of redemption. In this case, I think for Thomas Jane, maybe he's he's a past he's a preacher with a past, right? Maybe he was a gunfighter before, but then he becomes a preacher, and then he has to use his gunfighting abilities to save this guy, and then he does. But does he sacrifice himself at the end and make the ultimate sacrifice, or does he uh, does he uh, manage to live at the end? Is the question. Could go either way. I'm leaning towards. Hmm. He's a preacher. Well, he's got a love interest. Hmm. I'm leaning towards he lives. Yeah. Leaning towards that. It's hard to say, though. And again, I, I don't know if the if the sets are quite right. They don't... I don't know. Something about Western sets. Sometimes they just look super phony to me. I mean, these don't look bad. I'm not saying they're awful. It's just... I'm not sure if they ring true. Something about them. Are they too clean? Are they not clean enough? Should they be more crooked and worn? Or should they be newer because they just built them? It's hard to say. Hard to say. I wasn't there. I wasn't in the Wild West. I've seen pictures. It's a couple of pictures. <laughs> Anyhow, would I see Yellowstone? When the hell does this movie come out? Yeah, it doesn't say. Does it say at the end here? No. Why wouldn't you tell us? I imagine this is a summer, summer movie, I'm going to say. Um, would I see this movie? Maybe. I, I probably wouldn't pay for this movie. 
Like, I wouldn't go to the theaters. I mean, I'm sure it's more of a theater movie. You know, with westerns, you get sweeping vistas. I'm not seeing that kind of production value here. Um, seems like a lot of inside shots. Which is typical in a western because, you know, outside they got to be careful. You can't have, like, a skyscraper in the background. <laughs> Or you're going to have to see... That's why all the buildings are close together. See the background? Right? you got to be careful. You can't have a truck sitting there. There's no trucks. Um, so, hmm, I like it. I would see it. I don't know if... I wouldn't go to the theater. It feels like more of a rental. Like, I, maybe I'd catch it on uh, Netflix or something. She seems oddly dressed for a woman of that era, doesn't she? What? what are, what's her deal? She doesn't seem, she seems a little too modern or something. It looks like a modern woman look. Where's the dress? Yeah, it seems a little odd, her, her whole outfit there. Thomas Jane seems on point. Gabriel Byrne is definitely bringing it. He is definitely bringing it. Um, so, hmm, interesting. Yeah, Murder at Yellowstone. I might see this. Again, I think it's a rental. I think it'll be decent. Um, I think, you know, with a cast like this, you know, it'll be it'll be well acted. It'll be a drama. It'll be dramatic. The action scenes seem oh, pretty good, actually. There's one scene with a guy doing a gun thing where he's... So that looks cool. So uh, I think they got it. I, I think this will be a decent Western. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Squirmy Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for more base takes. Um, what else? I will be at the uh, book fair in Flemington, New Jersey, Summer Book Fest, on Sunday, the 29th, Memorial Day weekend. It's the beginning of summer. Get some ice cream and get out to the beach, and we'll see you tomorrow.